Hello friends in whiskey. This is Ed, Ed O'Mara from Milwaukee, Rock Cut Review. I'm gonna try to keep these shorter. I've been running long on these, so let's get to drinking. So if you've been following along with this, you know I've been drinking these whiskeys completely blind. Um, I did check out the blog for yesterday's number seven, uh, card up here somewhere, and I found out it's Glen Farkless. I love Glen Farkless, but that is one of the best Glen Farklesses I've ever had. Um, it was teaspooned. They put a little bit in extra so of something else, so they couldn't technically call it Glen Farkless. Um, but still, pretty much just Glen Farkless, and it was awesome. So let's see what today's had. Right off the nose, I'm getting an apple, a little bit of apple, a little bit of citrus, and oak. Definitely some oak there. And some ethanol. Definitely ethanol. There's definitely ethanol there. Um, it's not overpowering, but it's it's tingling the nose a little bit. All right, let's let's get a taste. Let's see what's going on there. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of oak on this, but it's still pretty sweet. And I'm getting, again, a little bit of that sherry fruit. Now, when I, when I say sherry fruit, I usually mean like dried fruit, kind of like, uh, uh, or a, ooh, like fig pudding, something like that, you know? Hmm. I'm getting the slightest hint of something else there. Kind of spicy. It reminds me of my dad's Cajun chicken that he makes for some reason. I'm wondering what that spice is. Because, I mean, a lot of this is fruity. But yeah, there's some spiciness there. There's a little spiciness there. Um, yeah, not especially peaty or smoky. Not not big on the smoke. Um, and mostly a little floral, but not honeyed. Not honey. Little floral, kind of, kind of like heather, I guess, or your local flower. Yeah, yeah, definitely floral. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It's pretty light in color and in taste, so I'm not thinking it's overly, a, you know, pretty, really old. Um, yeah, it's got kind of that, kind of that grassy, naturey smell, like you're, you're wandering across a, a hillside with maybe just the slightest hint of, of salinity. I'm guessing, I'm guessing this is another around 12 years old, probably around 12 years old, and probably Probably lowland or highland. I'm not thinking this is this is one of the others. At least I don't think so. I could be wrong. Some of these have thrown me for a loop, man. This is this has been really interesting trying to figure these out because some of them have thrown me completely off. All right, but you guys know the drill. I'm gonna take a little time. I'm gonna I'm gonna drink this, analyze it, figure it out. Future Eddie will get back to you. Hey, I'm Future Eddie. I've been sitting with this for a little while, and uh, let me tell you, I'm uh, I'm getting a little more pear off of this than I was before. Yeah, maybe a touch of pear, just a touch, and kind of raspberry, but also, oh, what is that? Is that peppermint? Ooh, this one's interesting. This one's kind of fun. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of Glenfiddich a little bit, but Glenfiddich usually runs a little sweeter. Um, I'm gonna say maybe this is refill sherry, uh, we could be looking at another Highland. We've had quite a few Highlands. <laughs> I guess there's there's a lot of Highlands. Pretty easy to get a hold of. Um, yeah, so little, I think it's a little hotter, probably 53, 54%. But it's not coming off as super hot on the palate. It's, it's relatively restrained, um, which may mean it's a little older, in fact. I know, I think I said somewhere around 12, but it could be a little bit older than that. Let's, uh, let's take a peek. Let's find out what this is. Okay, we've got Balmenoch aged 13 years, um, single malt, distilled 2004, cask type was refill bourbon. Okay, so I was totally off with the sherry note. Yeah, no, totally off with the sherry note. Um, region was Speyside. So we're hitting the Speysides pretty hard uh, in this advent calendar. Um, yeah, this one... This one has a little bit more going for it than some of the some of the lighter space sides. It's not just straight up sweet. It's got a little bit of spice. Um, we have been sticking pretty close to the space sides though. Um, I think we've had one Isla, a bunch of space sides, and Highlands. 
Um, and what was the, what was it? Fifty percent alcohol. So I wasn't too far off on that either. But yeah, so uh, Bell Menach, which is kind of neat, because my understanding is you really you can't buy Bell Menach uh, as a single malt at all. Um, pretty sure it all goes into Inverhouse, um, or it's owned by Inverhouse. If someone knows, you can correct me in the in the chat or the comments. Um, because, yeah, but I'm pretty sure you can't get this anywhere else. Not really, anyway. Maybe other independent bottlings, but this is a pretty rare opportunity to get a hold of something like this. So that's pretty awesome. Um, sweet! So, this has been day seven of the Rock Cut Review Advent Calendar. Um, stay in there, keep with us, because we're gonna do this all the way up until the 25th. So thank you for watching. Yeah. All, uh, like all six of you. <laughs> But until the next video, you guys stay rotten.